What's up, you guys? It's the Sauce 247, and we're playing some Warband. It's... Well, I mean, you could clearly tell we're playing Warband. On the title, this is a how-to-make-money video in this game. Now, I understand this game is old, but if you're like me, I got into the game, like, a few months ago. And I was looking for some tutorials, but all of them were, like, six years old, and I, I didn't, you know, they weren't the best. Some of them were really good, but some of them were meh. So... What I'm going to do is teach you how to make money, all right? Not just a little bit of money that's like you make 4K and then it runs out because, you know, you're doing stuff. But we're talking about money that's going to last. So the way that you do that is you get businesses. Here, let me show you. You get businesses. Go to your budget report right here. Now, yeah, that's what businesses do. do. That looks right. That looks real nice, huh? That's a lot of money. So... Net revenue from the dye works. Net, you know, it's from all the different cities. It's just a bunch of businesses. So the way that you do this is, I like to do dye works because they pay out the most. You find a city, one of these big ones, right? They're gonna have, if you zoom all the way out, they're gonna have giant names and they're gonna be like a castle like this. So what you wanna do, is you're gonna go to one of them. You're gonna walk around the streets you gotta find these people now. What I've noticed about the desert ones is either they're gonna be right when you walk in on that right hand side, or you're gonna have to do a little bit of exploring. So for the one that we're in, I think we're in Cuba. It's right up here. Oh my gosh, these stairs take forever to walk up. It's right up here though. Up these stairs, and there he is. He's usually sitting somewhere where it looks like he's important, even though he's not that important, right? So we could probably completely take his job. Um, so the guild master, this is who you're looking for. You go and find him. You come down here all the way to the, to the bottom. I wish to buy land at this town for a productive enterprise. You do that. I already own a business here. But what you're going to do is you're going to go straight down to the dye works. And you're going to buy it. It's going to cost 10k. And you're like, I know what you're probably thinking. 10k? Oh my goodness, that's so much money. And it is. You know, I have, a, I have a way you can make this money too. So to make the 10k, you're going to go into any big city. You're going to enter their arena. You're going to talk to their tournament master. And you ask, will there be a tournament in nearby town soon? And he's going to give you locations that there are going to be tournaments. Sometimes he's not going to give you any, which is, you know, it sucks, but whatever. Uh, just you cycle through like a day, two or three, and he'll have, he'll, he'll most likely tell you where tournaments are, because tournaments are happening all the time. So right now, they're held at Voluca and Nukes Hall. So, Voluca, I know it's over here in the green, and Nukes Hall, right there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to ride all the way over to... One of these places, I can't go to Yooks Hall because they don't like me, but the Rodox like me, so that's exactly where I'm going to go. Just ride all the way over. I know, it's, don't, don't worry if it's like taking forever to get there and days are passing because they most likely don't care. Now, you can't enter a tournament at night time, so you have to keep going until it's daytime. Now it's daytime. And there's the tournament. So what you're going to do is you're going to join the tournament. All this text on my screen. Oh my gosh, I should have done something. Well, regardless, you're going to place a bet on yourself. You're going to bet 100 dinars. And then you're going to fight. You're going to keep fighting, fighting the next round. And after every round, you're going to keep placing a bet on yourself. So, yeah, that's... In the if you keep doing that, you, you're going to bet 600 dinars, so try to have 600 dinars when you come here and bet all of it in the games. So now, you do that and you'll win about 3,900 dinars. You're like, three, 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 oh my gosh, 3,900, right? It's not enough for the business. That's fine. You just keep doing these and you'll have 3,900, 7,800. And then 11,700. That's enough. So the best place to make a business, your first one, I think is Rivacheg. 
because, well, I don't actually know because I, I can't make a business here right now because the person who owns this place don't like me, but, you know, whatever. Um, but from my last playthrough, this thing right here made like a thousand dinars per week. And that is really good. That is like the best. So if, when you get the money, go to Revichag and yeah, you know, do your thing. Buy, buy the thing. Oh, and I actually just got paid. Okay. Where's Rivetshag? Oh, we don't own Rivetshag. <laughs> so... Uh, what? Vassalage? No. Okay. So yeah, Rivetshag. Boom. And then you... You have one passive income here. He's gonna be making you anywhere between 500 and 1,000 dinars a week. And that should be enough to pay for your army, or at least a good amount of it. Because, you know, some of us got big expensive armies that cost like 3k. Mine costs about 1600 and so you're like ugh, a thousand dinars my army costs 3k at this point don't worry you just keep going to all these cities making the money all of them sargoth tier praven suno yuxol what i will say though is <clears throat> for the rodox and what is what are these people called for rodox and swadia sometimes their die works lose you money so you have to you know read you have to read to make sure you're not losing money and the uh you just go to each city bang 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 they're all worth gonna be worth like 300 to 700 other than <clears throat> river because you know sometimes he's real <clears throat> real good <clears throat> well so yeah kudan ichimur all, all all the main cities in the map now that's the best way to make money in the entire game. Like, I, I promise you there's nothing better. So, if you want the second best way, I'd say, right? You're going to be like, oh, I want to be a market trader. Buy stuff from Rivache, go to where, wherever, you know, wherever they need an armor ad. That's going to take like, a, that's like a two-day travel. And even if they have a lot of, where is my character? Even if they have a lot of stock of things that you can sell or buy and sell elsewhere it's not going to be as effective as you think because well just take a look let's go marketplace you can you're going to assess the local prices and you get the good the good scoop you're going to come into the goods you're like oh let's say the most let's say the thing that they have the most either bread or leather we'll go off leather because it's more expensive let's say you can sell it for 300 a pop at Amarad, but you gotta travel two days, okay? So this is like, what's that? 122 dinars each, that's profit. So you're gonna be making about 488. This, in two days, is pretty okay if you have a high trade value, but you're only making 488 in two days, okay? And you gotta walk all the way over here. 488 and you don't get any experience it's just gonna slow you down if you stop to fight people so what i like to do my second favorite way to make money in this game is to upgrade prisoner management and you know take fights we'll fight with the the forest bandits the desert bandits whatever they're called and beat them down with a club a hammer a mace any blunt weapon something that's not going to kill them no blades no sharp ends right just blunt weapon bang it's gonna knock them out and you're going to have a prisoner that you can go sell them at a ransom broker. Ransom brokers are found in big cities again where you bought your businesses, but they will be found in the tavern. Look at them throwing a punch. Smack them out of you. Um, this one does not have a ransom broker in it and they will not have ransom brokers in them sometimes and that's just you know the way it is. But the same, you do the same thing with uh, you know how you ask the arena guy where the tournaments? You do the same thing basically. You wait a few days and there'll probably be a ransom broker somewhere in one of these cities. Let's check here. A part a ransom broker. Here we go. So what you do is, uh, what is it? I wish to sell all of my prisoners. I just like to do this because what's the point in selling them one by one? You can just click it and you can make some pretty good money off this because 
you're fighting people, you're earning experience. So you're earning experience, you're earning money, and you're getting the items from um, the people that you beat. So you can sell those too. So let's say you have 10 prisoners that you could sell. Boom. The minimum you could sell them for is like 30. So you made 300. You know, that's, on the, that's the worst possible thing you can make. You usually make like 50 per, 70 per, <clears throat> and all the way up to like 150 per. But let's say it's early game. You're going to be getting 50 per, for 10, you're going to be making 500, plus you're getting experience and you can sell the equipment that you, you know, looted from the people that you beat. And I don't know how much the loot, looted stuff is going to be, it's probably going to be like 100, 150, but either way, it's going to be more than the trading, and you're going to be getting experience, you're going to be leveling up for what you're doing. You're not just traveling, buying, which is irrelevant, like completely irrelevant. What it should the main things that these shops will be used for because they don't have a lot of stock is just restocking on your food. Sometimes when you have a big army, you gotta go to multiple cities and buying the best equipment possible and selling the stuff that you got from beating down other tribes or tribes, other war bands. And yeah. Market bad. If you put any points in trading, I think it's absolutely horrible. Let me show you. Trading. Absolutely horrible. This thing way down here. Garbage. Absolutely miserable. I don't even know what persuasion does, but whatever. Um, prisoner management. Good. Always good. And looting can be pretty good, too. That's, that's about it. To be honest, you don't need none of this to make money. Just win tournaments, buy businesses, and you're set. <clears throat> like, it's, it's that simple. Win the tournaments, you're like, how, how do I win the tournaments? Well, if you get a crossbow, or a crossbow, or a normal bow and arrow, just pray, okay? Because <laughs> sometimes your team's going to split, and the whole entire team is going to bombard you from one side because they split, so that your team on that right-hand side that split is going to lose, and you're going to be stuck there with a bow, and a knife and you can't defend you can't protect yourself so what i'd say is walk straight down the middle towards the other team and try to get in on two teams fighting and pick up their sword and shield and then just just play very defensive when they strike you block it immediately after just strike just keep yourself alive and you should you should win a majority of your tournaments and you just keep doing that boom 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 and you'll make a lot of money. And then obviously the best, 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 best way in the entire game to make money is to own cities, the best in the world, or to own towns is pretty good, castles is pretty good too. But to even consider any of this, you need your businesses to be booming. Because once you own one of these, you're at war with probably everybody in the entire world because they see you as an easy target because you only have one city. So, yeah, moral of the story to make money in this game is to simply win tournaments, buy businesses, and you will be good. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm actually going to be starting a Warband Let's Play. If you would be interested in watching me play Warband, you know, we're probably going to be going all the way up until I reach Kingdom. Kingdom meaning I am the king. The top dog, right? Pimp. <laughs> so, if you want to see that series, go ahead and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys there if you decide to do so. Peace.